Definitely the highlight of the day today, guys, is finding this gully here at Timberline. You arrive into this gully and it's just like an amazing border cross track. You can ride the sides, pump through rollers, get some air, a bit of everything. It's so much fun. Definitely the highlight, it's uh, difficult to ride, so it's a really good way to challenge and improve your riding. One thing for safety is that a lot of these gullies are often creeks, so you wanna make sure that there's no holes that it's safe to go in. This one seems to be completely filled in, but if it was a little bit later in the season, I can imagine that they start to get some holes through here. So be careful, definitely ride with lots of friends, but yeah, this gully is a lot of fun. Hey, what's up guys? So we're here back riding at Timberline again today with my friend Garrett Yo. and David. And definitely the highlight of today is the trees and some of these gullies here at Timberline. We weren't expecting it, but we're getting tons of good snow. A couple of tips for riding through trees. The first one I think is to plan your line ahead. So looking ahead, especially here, we see that there's lots of little um, little holes and little things to get stuck in. So always trying to look um, quite far down the run in between trees and just planning the line. That way you can know when to turn and then you can also know where you need to pick up more speed. So for me today, that's been the most important thing. So another one is making sure that you use your knees to absorb all the bumps. So when you're in here in the bumps and it's really bumpy terrain, if you keep your legs stiff, you're gonna get worked by one of the bumps. But if you, you're you using it and working with the terrain, uh, you're gonna be able to make it through uh, the bumpy terrain uh, a lot easier. I definitely noticed here at Timberline, the terrain is much more bumpy and there's a lot more little holes. So being able to use your knees to absorb the bumps and then extend through parts where it dips is definitely key um, at this resort more than other places. I just got so much snow up my ass. Another tip for riding in these gullies is to make really tight short turns and I feel like the best way to do that is by really using your knees. So as I'm going down through, 
I'm using my upper body and shoulder a little bit to dip into turns, but mainly that's staying pretty neutral and I'm really trying to use my knees just to steer as aggressively as I can. I'm almost doing like triple the number of turns in these gullies as I would up on a run. So a good way to practice that too is when you're on the slopes, just practice doing lots of quick short turns and it's really good practice for being in a gully. Another important tip is keeping your uh, tips up, uh, especially if you're going over a hill where you don't know what's behind uh, what's behind that hill. Uh, if you keep your uh, nose down or under the snow, you might hit a rock like I did earlier today or hit a log. So just making sure that you're keeping your front uh, tip up, very important. Last tip for riding in trees and gullies, always ride with your friends, be safe, um, don't take any unnecessary risk, know where the trees lead to, and have a call. So if you know you lose a friend, you can just make some loud noises and you can you can uh, like that one. Hope those tips help you guys ride through trees and gullies. We're gonna keep riding here at Timberline. guys so a few days on instagram put up a giveaway contest in collaboration with sandbox giving away a sandbox helmet goggles and beanie so we're just gonna randomly choose the winner with garrett all right garrett so i'll sweep and then you just put your finger on it okay all right we're doing it all right so sweep it sweep it sweep it go for it. all right so mackenzie halas you win the helmet from sandbox Woo! congrats mackenzie here go mackenzie yeah Awesome time, yeah. man. Yeah. So fun. Have a good drive back. Yeah. Oh. Hope I got you use it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Back on the road now to Whistler. It's been an awesome last couple of days riding at Timberline with Garrett and David. Had two days of powder riding in trees and gullies. And today the weather wasn't on our side. It was rainy and wet, but it was awesome to meet a fan of the channel. Shout out to Alec. Thanks for showing us around today, man. It was a lot of fun riding with you. Now I'm gonna head back to Whistler, take a couple days to rest, and then get ready for the next trip, which will be down to Colorado to do some riding with TJ again.